Hey guys, so Trucker One here again. I make a second video with this load because I just go to the scale and we realize this concrete pump, it's much more heavier than the client said in the bill of lading. So we 15,000 more than they said. So now I'm back here, we're gonna install a third axle. Since this morning we changed the trailer specifically for this pump so it can fit. But this one have only two axles. So now we're gonna install a third one so check this video how we installed the third axle to make it legal and safety to drive on this public road. So thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing. See, this is definitely a trailer what you can add a third axle because it's already made from uh, from factory this way to add an axle. Some of the trailer you cannot add extra axle, but this one too, you, you can do that. So uh, check this out, how we install it. How you can see you have four points to attach it. So those two big ones on the bottom and those two little ones on the top, definitely the, the, they're gonna push against this. So this way the little ones in the back, they're smaller because it's not really pressure on them because the pressure is coming all the way here. And then you have to connect with the air hoses here and the electric line. So you have lights and brakes on your third axle. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the third axle, what we're gonna put to it. So how you can see, have those rings there let's connect to the other trailer and then the small ones right here go to the little holes and how i said the pressure will be all the way up here to hold it together and then you have the air hoses and the electric line to connect to be able to break to use the brakes on this axle too and to have the lights because how you can see it's almost uh, it's identical like the trailer so it's just a little piece but it's the same if you just look like this, oh, look at this, a new trailer, but it's just the, uh, so this way it have to be identical with the trailer. So if it's not identical, probably it's not gonna work on your trailer. So this is why that's the first uh, indicator if it's if it's uh, good for your trailer or not. This is one of those situations when you need a forklift for your third axle to install. And now when, after you first you install those big ones there, the big, uh, bolts both sides you have one of each and then you have right here we have different uh, little bolts to put one there one here and then you can see this this is not to hold the weight it's just to hold the to hold the axle to not flip backwards so all the weight is going to be here because once what you put the air in the in the third axle this is going to get close here see this at the end of the video okay guys so we done here so you can see here how i said this uh, little not to hold the weight is just to hold the third axle to not, to not go uh, backwards or when you go like uh, up a hill or something this will just gonna hold it together because the pressure it's all here and we, we manufactured this little piece here it's like a quarter of an inch because deeper this this wider you put the distance here in this pressure point more weight you put on the third axle so we decided to put this little one because we lost the original ones us we lost the pin so now we fabricate new ones and we have this and you can see here we have four different uh, we have three hoses and the electric line so the regular one for the brakes the red and the blue one and then this one is to level the all the airbags together with the trailer and the third axle so they all be the same uh, level and then we have the electric line so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe